I'm Francesco Boscia. Uh, I'm uh, a chair of the Department of Ophthalmology at the University of Sassari in Italy. Well, uh, among the different uh, agents, uh, uh, definitely I would uh, restrict my option uh, in, uh, towards uh, Lucentis or uh, Aflibacept. That is because Bevacizumab is not uh, approved in Italy for treatment of either uh, WetMD and DME. Uh, between the two uh, remaining agents, uh, as a first-line treatment, I would uh, prefer using uh, uh, Lucentis uh, uh, for uh, several reasons. One of them is that uh, I've got more experience with this drug uh, uh, for any uh, uh, condition. Uh, and because the uh, safety profile and uh, uh, systemic absorption of this drug is lower than uh, that of a flibacept. On the other hand, there are uh, cases such as the uh, pigment epithelial detachment, uh, secondary to age-related microdegeneration, where my first line of treatment would be a flibacept. I, treat, I think that the uh, best regimen would be a regimen uh, which uh, maximizes uh, the visual benefit, maintain over time the visual benefit, uh, and gives some uh, proactive uh, uh, modality of action uh, as compared to a reactive. Uh, that is, I uh, would restrict my option to the treat and extend or a fixed regimen. I think, I think that the treat and extend, especially in the uh, in this uh, um, variant of the plan of the, and observe, gives uh, uh, more room uh, to the individualization of treatment. That is uh, uh, shaping uh, the treatment according to the patient individual needs. Patient individual needs might vary according to genotype or, or phenotypes of the uh, uh, wet MD lesion. Anti-VGF uh, treatment uh, uh, aims uh, uh, at uh, um, reducing the permeability and the neovascularization. That is the most permeable uh, lesion uh, and more aggressive lesion, uh, the most aggressive lesion are those who might benefit most by this treatment. Uh, I think, uh, uh, according to my uh, experience, that uh, either uh, type 2 lesion, that is the so-called classic lesion, or the RAP lesion being very active uh, and very permeable are those who might benefit most from this treatment. I think this is a, a difficult issue uh, because the, there is no consensus uh, on uh, how to define the resistant cases. Uh, I would uh, uh, differentiate between uh, early non-responder that are patients who might have been misdiagnosed or where the window of the therapeutic effect uh, was lost. That means uh, we uh, intervene too late in treatment of those cases, so they uh, are a residual category. Uh, there are uh, late non-responders, and uh, in those cases, I think that the maintenance regimen is to be blamed and not the drug itself. So I wouldn't uh, uh, again uh, uh, define no responders those cases, and the possibly late responders. Uh, those cases are those who might respond after six to nine injection, but still uh, we might uh, might see a, an effect. And uh, uh, the second observation I would make uh, is that uh, uh, though this drug uh, aim at a, a, an anatomical target. Uh, uh, it's much better to define the non-responders uh, patient where the uh, tomographic or biomicroscopic uh, features do not vary over time. And these are very, very uh, few. Uh, according to the CAT trial results, even with monthly uh, treatment uh, uh, with both the drug, uh, only 6% of patients uh, really lost vision due to most of the cases anatomical uh, 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 occurrence such as, uh, for example, uh, the retinal pigment epithelium tear or uh, um, vast hemorrhage occurring over the posterior pole. Uh, 
uh, I think that the uh, first uh, um, uh, the first treatment option would definitely be the anti VGF for both the condition. I think the role of laser is limited for treatment of DME to those vasogenic uh, uh, um, edema, uh, vasogenic DME, uh, that is the uh, edema surrounding uh, microaneurysm and possibly be surrounded by a CSNF ring of uh, lipids. In uh, uh, those cases, I think that uh, laser might be a good option. And uh, uh, for treatment of uh, uh, proliferative diabetic retinopathy, again, uh, um, is uh, a sort of a, a combined treatment with the anti-VGF, uh, uh, because uh, I think that uh, nowadays, with all the, the uh, armamentarium we've got in our hands, uh, it might be preferable to avoid uh, all the uh, visual field deterioration, night uh, vision deterioration, which occur after panoretian photocoagulation, thereby having uh, also for this uh, condition an ancillary role.